loves, and thank you so much for tuning in. This is Jay from Jay Young Healing. This is going to be a general reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 2019. And in tapping into your energy, Scorpio, I'm feeling an energy of, um, there is a lot of energy around you. When I say that, there are a lot of orbs around you that I'm feeling that for some of you. So what that means, are orbs are just, um, they're, they're circular lights, circular balls of light that show up in your pictures and in your videos. So if some of you are experiencing that or seeing these things in your videos and your pictures, just know that there are your loved ones that are around, especially during this holiday season. For some of you that have lost loved ones right before the season or currently you're experiencing this, these loved ones, their energy is very present with you right now. So you can acknowledge them just by saying, thank you for being here. Thank you for protecting me and guiding me. Thank you for your love. Um, so that's some of the energies that I'm picking up for you. I'm also picking um, this message of spirit saying, make sure you stay focused. Just stay focused on what it is that you're doing right now. Okay, whatever it is you're trying to create. And another thing that I saw is a picture, a vision of a waistline. So whether that means for some of you watching what you're uh, which, watching what you're putting into your body. Okay, some of you are needing to be more aware of your diet. Some of you are needing to sh to shift your diet so that you're eating healthier, cleaner foods. Um, and some of you are needing to just focus on your health overall, okay? And especially during this season, especially during this holiday season where we can tend to overindulge in things. So be be uh, be cognizant of what you're putting into your body. For some of you, this can turn into things like dis-ease, you know what I mean? It can cyst, tumors, um, excuse me, um, all kinds of all kinds of things that can manifest over time, okay? So be conscious of what you're putting into your bodies right now, Scorpio, okay? So I actually started your reading already. So I have a, a few cards pulled. I pulled three Oracle cards and I pulled your um, most recent energies. I've been having some connection issues with my, you know, computer and all of this stuff and so it's been a bit frustrating so I've been trying to get these readings out so I started your reading and the whole thing froze so I was probably about 10 minutes in so I'm redoing this now and um, let's just get to it okay the three cards that I pulled for you for your oracles were simple acts of kindness which says kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So this number five here, okay, I feel like there's an energy of maybe a shift, a change, maybe even some conflict some of you are experiencing, but, you know, really focusing on simple acts of kindness to yourself and to others, it's going to bring some stability into your life, okay? With the number five, some of you are probably even in the smack dead in the middle of a cycle, um, you know, going back and forth, try, trying to make decisions about something or even going back and forth with, you know, what can you do to bring more alignment into your life right now, okay? Some of you are probably even finding that you're, surround, you're, you're having chance interactions or um, meetings with animals, just random animals probably in your neighborhood and you're just like, oh, I've never seen that before or why am I the only one seeing this? Why am I seeing a snake? Why am I seeing like random animals that are popping up possibly in your neighborhood or coming into your home? It's almost like um, it's, it's spirit's way of giving you messages and I know it could be scary for some if it's like random non sort of neighborhood sort of species that are coming into your home. I do feel like too, this is part of your, your loved one speaking to you in a way or helping you get some attention because some of you might just be so focused on something, okay? Then we have appreciate this moment, okay? Appreciate this moment and it says, every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love, okay? So I feel like some of you are seeking something. Some of you are, you know, focused on something right now, whatever it is that you're trying to create. There is a strong first focus. This number 33 is a master number. So again, I feel like, you know, your angels are trying to speak to you, whether that's through numbers or animals or seeing these orbs in your videos and your pictures, your angels are trying to get your attention and to refocus on acts of self-love, acts of kindness, and being in the present moment right now. Okay, Scorpio is very important for you as well. Then we have the romance card here, okay? The romance card says, lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection, okay? 
and this is the number 25 breaking down to a seven. So this is, could be some sort of divine counterpart that some of you may be dealing with, or this could be you coming into alignment with your most highest self, your conscious self, okay? So I'm always picking up this energy of like, you know, you dancing in the rain, having fun, just, you know, bringing some fun into your life, brings in some, bringing some fluid fluidity into your life bring in some whimsical energy into your life because this it's almost like the energy of just being so focused right now um that you're not you're forgetting acts of love you're forgetting to be in the present moment um and it's just all about whatever it is you're doing but maybe you're needing to bring some more happiness you can bring more happiness and joy into your life right now by focusing on romance maybe some of you are letting someone into your space right now or you're thinking of it that could be a good idea okay so in tapping so in pulling some cards for your most recent energy as well as your current energies so what that means is some of you could be experiencing these energies right now or you have just experienced it or these energies are coming forth for you okay so I pull the eight of Pentacles the four of swords and the knight of Pentacles here okay make sure you guys can see that so in the center of the energy is the four of swords okay which is telling me that you know some of you guys you're needing to relax right now you're needing to rest some of you are even to needing to meditate okay I feel like with this with this four of with this four of swords, some of you right now are just focused on this one sword. There might be one thing that you're just so focused on right now and it's got you exhausted, okay? Got you just so tired, fatigued, okay? I feel like there are other things but for you with these three swords here, but it's almost like an energy of like it's there, but it's not as important as this one thing right here that you're focused on that you're needing to really get some answers on, okay? Because again, with this, look how this eight of pentacles is here you're definitely working at something you're honing in on a craft something that you're focused on trying to develop a skill trying to master something um but i do feel like it's an energy of you trying to create some financial stability a financial opportunity um you're trying to manifest something into your life right now you you could be co-creating with someone but again, whatever it is that you're focused on right now, it's just, it's a lot of energy. It's a lot of focus into it. And I, I feel like you're forgetting about the things that are happening around you. Okay. Some of you are with that four of swords in the center of that. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles is the slow moving knight in, in of all the knights in the deck. Okay. But this is this energy of hard work, productivity. You know, some of you might be just too invested in a routine right now okay and i feel like <sighs> you're focused you're needing to rest and i feel like if you're not resting it's things are going to be delayed like you know i do feel like slow and steady wins the race so i do feel this energy of you not jumping into anything right now um and you're just kind of taking your time but remember to remember to appreciate the moments to find some fun find some love in it are you doing this for the love of what you're doing or are you doing it because you feel like you have to because you need to you need to create because you have long-term goals but are you forgetting and completely skipping over the short-term goals okay and I did also pull um, some clarifiers for this first card so for this eight of Pentacles here so for this Eight of Pentacles, I have um, the Ten of Cups, the Sun, and the Moon card here. So some of you are really trying to work at creating some sort of happiness, stability in your life, okay? You're definitely working on that. With that Ten of Cups, you're trying, maybe some of you are focused on a relationship, creating divine love, a blissful relationship, some harmony, trying to align yourself with to. I'm almost feeling like a, a new life for that some of you are, um, you know, stepping into. And then we have the sun card. So we have the 10 of cups and the sun. These are both two happy cards. Okay. So this makes me feel that some of you right now can be focused on family, the family, the family front, or you can be focused on your career. However, it resonates for you. Take it that way. But some of you could be focused on maybe wanting to start a family, have children. I'm even picking up the energy of wanting to adopt children 
Um, but this, or some of you are just tapping into your inner youthful side and it's making you feel happy again. Maybe some of you with this Eight of Pentacles are focused on this, um, this journey of reconnecting to yourself, of giving yourself these simple acts of kindness and really enjoying this time with yourself, exploring yourself, exploring what it is that you want, exploring your thought process, exploring who you want to manifest into your space, okay? But I also have the moon. So we go from happiness. So we got we have a contrast of light and dark. So whatever this is, I feel like the stability is, I feel like you find the stability and the happiness in the family. But I feel like with the moon card, it's your internal emotions. I feel like there could be a lot of emotions going on. Some of you could be worried about something. Maybe this is for some of you that are even trying to have children and it's been a process for you. Um, you know, maybe even financially it's been, you know, it's been a whirlwind. It's been a whirlwind of emotions and a whirlwind of just investing your money into something that has yet to work. Um, so it's got you a little bit tired. It's got you weary. Some of you could even be feeling depressed with that moon card there, anxious, worried, um, just feeling like in the dark. I feel like there's like a no in between for you right now. You're focused on something so hard that you're not even taking the time to, to even understand what you're feeling you're just kind of going you're in the flow of the emotions the ebb and flow okay um and maybe spirit is saying maybe you can take some time out to actually step back and understand and give yourself some kindness don't be so hard on yourself right now scorpio whatever it is that you're investing your time and energy into don't be so hard on it spirit is saying whatever you're doing is still going to be there when you get back to it okay all right, and then we have the center card. We have the Four of Swords here. So let's clarify that for you. Why is the Four of Swords here? Thank you, Spirit. The Hangman. Why is the Four of Swords here? I'm not taking this one. Why is the Four of Swords here? The Five of Staffs. Okay, these cards definitely want to talk to you. Okay, they're flying all over the place. One more card. Why is the Four of Swords here? So this one popped first, the King of Staffs. Okay. <clears throat> so again, the Four of Swords is already telling me that you guys need to rest. Okay. You need to rest. You need to meditate. You need to contemplate. And then we pulled the Hangman, which is something, it's a major arc, arc, arcana card here. So this tells me that you definitely need to take a pause. You need to let go of some things, surrender, and you need to do this through rest. Spirit is saying you don't have control. What's happening right now for some of you is with this hangman and this five of staff, some of you are used to having control in this physical world, controlling the outcomes, controlling situations. And I feel like there's a battle right now, okay? There's a battle between you and your inner self, okay? And this is the reason why some of you are needing to meditate right now, okay? So and, then, and then we have this king of staff. So this is like some an energy of someone someone watching on. Maybe this is your energy, that king of staffs there. I feel like you are a natural born leader, a visionary, okay? Some of you are probably stepping into entrepreneurship and um, it's a lot of work and you're needing to rest right now because there's just a lot of, there could be a lot of conflict and change that's happening for you right now. And you need to appreciate this moment and, and, and every situation, remember it, no, is an opportunity to grow and find love, okay? So this is an opportunity to find and grow love for self. So remembering to take those simple acts of kindness and meditate right now, okay? That's like part of the advice for you pretty much, all right? All right, so why is this Knight of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles. Why is it here for Scorpio? Too many cards. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? I'll take it. Thank you. All right. So I do feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, I said it's a slow moving process. Maybe some of you are, um, you know, whatever this is, some of you are reminiscing about the past, reminiscing on an old love, rem reminiscing about childhood, or trying to create some harmony and balance in your life. Again, 
focused on children. I feel like, again, this could be a slow moving process with the emperor here is trying to establish some sort of ability, some sort of authority, but then this is letting me know like you don't have control over anything, okay? So I, it's almost like an energy with this eight of staffs here. If you relinquish, relinquish, relinquish control, things will begin to happen a lot quicker for you, okay? Some of you could also be traveling um, across, uh, uh, somebody, some of you could be, <laughs> doing having air travel again this is the season for traveling going to see family members and friends your just your loved ones um or some of you could be receiving some sort of offer um via um over the web however that comes in for you okay it could be social media via email via text someone can be calling you about some sort of opportunity okay um and maybe this could be someone from the past or maybe someone you could some of you could be getting your old job back your old boss could be calling you back um um to to you know get a new job um or to return to your old job but it does feel like an energy of something from the past or some of you trying to take back your power from someone okay um and maybe this is maybe this is due to um this is done over the web social media text email okay but someone is definitely coming in to offer you something someone from the past okay let's get some advice for you all right what advice do we have for scorpio we have the knight of cups now in reverse We have the sun in reverse, so that sun is coming back out again. And one more card for Scorpio. I'll take that one. The Justice card wanted to come out, trying to find some truth and clarity in something. Um, you know, trying to find some answers about something. So I have the Knight of Cups in reverse, the sun in reverse, and then we also have the Queen of Cups. So again, this could be your energy. You could possibly be dealing with another a water sign or even a... Um, earth sign or a leo okay so we have this energy of the sun of the sun in reverse okay so it's almost like some of you could be you know experiencing a state of if you're not allowing yourself to rest and meditate and contemplate you could be ex experiencing some stagnation okay some delays so especially for those of you that are trying to have children okay if you're not resting right now it is this process is going to take longer okay if you're not feeding your body the good things if you're not decompressing and um you know developing a daily practice where you can keep your stress levels down you can do things like meditation you can do um journaling you can do qigong um you can do tai chi just so you're moving the energies out because again some of you are just focus 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 on whatever this is that is taking up a lot of your time Okay, and I feel like it's I feel like there I feel like there are setbacks that that could happen. Then we have the um, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, so some of you are probably you know having an overactive um, imagination right now that could just really be putting you in a state of you know lack of rest. Okay, Scorpio, you're a water sign, so your imagination is could be off the hook. And for some of you, maybe this is you can't sleep at night. Okay. Um, you're so focused on what it is that you're trying to create that it's like, and you're imagining all these things that you're not resting. And it also, you're putting yourself in a place of control. And then because you're putting yourself in a place of control, you're actually resisting it and pushing whatever this is further and further away from you. Okay. So this night of, um, this night of cups can say, can, could be telling us that, you know, you could be unrealistic in your imagination right now. Okay. Some of you could also be, you know, have a jealous en energy or you could be moody. Um, so that energy could be coming up for some of you as well, okay? So again, with that energy, you're not going to be happy, okay? But then we have the Queen of Cups here too. It's about compassion, you know, caring, emotionally stable, intuitive, in the flow, okay? So I do feel like it's a state that you're going to get to. Let's clarify. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse here? Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse here? Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? Knight of Cups in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse. 
Okay. So we have the Queen of Cups coming back out, the King of Coins, the Temperance, and the King of Cups. Look at that. That's a lot of King and Queen energy, energy a lot of strong energy, okay, for you guys, Scorpio. So this is what I have for you. So um, again, so some of you are probably overthinking things with this queen of cups here it's about being in the flow and maybe some of you are not in the flow right now because your 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 imagination is off the charts right now but you're because you're <coughs> you're constantly thinking about things it's like you're you're not able to channel what's the information that's coming in for you and now i look at the king of the queen some of you are trying to find some sort of balance in this this um, in your emotional stability um, with this queen of cups and then this um, king of coins here, okay? Because this king of coins is about business. He's a leader. Um, you know, he's trying to create some abundance. So I feel like so for some of you, maybe there's just some sort of disconnect there that's happening. Um, you could be manipulating yourself or maybe you're manipulating someone else in some sort of way. But this temperance card is coming in, Sagittarian energy about um, balance doing things in moderation right now, okay? I just, again, there's an energy of you doing too much, okay? You were focused on something and um, I feel like it could also be a compulsive energy and I feel like it's almost, it could put you in a state of disillusion, just, you know, of being unrealistic. Like maybe your head could be just too far in the clouds right now and that could just, that could put you in a moody state, okay? Then we have the King of Cups that's also talking about emotional stability and um, being in the flow, okay? Um, being compassionate, being diplomatic. So I feel like right now, emotionally, you got to really sort through your feelings to see what it is that you're going through because it's going to lead you to unhappiness if you don't with this sun card here in the reverse, okay? Let's see why the sun is in reverse. I just feel like there's delays or... Um, some of you could also be experiencing um, some repressed emotions from childhood that you've never shared with anyone, and it's probably hitting you right now. It's probably putting you in your feelings, putting you in some sort of space. Um, some some of you are probably dreaming about that because that sun in reverse is coming under the four of swords. So you could be you could be dreaming about this. These old memories could be coming up during your dream phase and play out in some crazy freaky way. Um, and I feel like for some of you, that could be affecting your mood on a day-to-day -day basis too, okay? So with this sun in reverse, I pulled the four of coins, the six of swords, and then the ace of cups. At the center of the energy, again, I feel like some of you, again, are trying to release some old baggage. So with this sun in reverse, if these are repressed memories that some of you are experiencing or you're seeing things in your dream state, you're trying to release that. Your subconscious is trying to let go of that, okay? You got to get in the, you got to get out of the way of that, Okay. That's, you have to meditate. You have to move the energy. Some of you could probably even use healing sessions, okay, to help move some of this repressed energy, okay, that has been stagnant, okay, so that you could feel aligned. Your, your chakras can be aligned. You feel relaxed. You feel peaceful. So that would definitely be a good thing for some of you, okay, because you're trying to protect something, um, but, I, you know, you, you could be trying to you, you protect yourself from what? is the question okay it's almost like an energy of protecting yourself from you okay and then we have the ace of cups here so this is an energy of this could possibly be a new relationship that you're in you're finding love or you're being coming more compassionate and creative but i also feel like these energies can be delayed um if you're not if you're trying to stay in a phase of control okay so it's like relinquish control so this energy can come up. You can release this baggage. You can you can release protecting yourself, forgive yourself, forgive others, and let this love just flow through you, Scorpio, okay? Let's get some, um, the, let's get the outcome for you. What's the outcome for Scorpio? The Page of Swords, okay? So we have, I feel like I have a lot of energy here. There's a lot of energy for manifesting things. Things are like, either at the beginning or things are just starting to unfold quickly, but it's a matter of you, Scorpio, not being so focused and fixated on one thing and allowing yourself to be open to, um, allowing yourself to be open to love, 
it's ultimately what it comes down to loving yourself small acts of kindness or simple acts of kindness being in the present moment okay you know being romantic okay maybe some of you are not romantic people but maybe tapping into that energy trying something new okay maybe some of you that's what you're focusing on is trying to be more romantic so in clear so in your outcome i have the um page of swords the two of pentacles and the three of pentacles here okay so i do at the center of this some of you are definitely trying to weigh out something trying to um trying to weigh out options you know some of you have multiple multiple priorities that you're dealing with okay you're trying to manage your time um just trying to uh, prioritize trying to adapt to maybe some some of you you're trying to adapt to this new lifestyle so if some of you are in a relationship or you this is a new relationship you're trying to balance between you know work and play work and love work and being with this person okay then the um the page of swords here. Some of you are developing some new ideas. You know, you're curious about things. You're, you know, developing a thirst for life that's, you know, maybe for some of you have yet to experience. And maybe a, there's a person that's helping you develop this thirst for life. But I do feel like there's new ways of communication, mental clarity coming in. You're trying to balance that with this three of pentacles here, which is about, you know, collaborating trying to work with the team. I feel like Scorpio, some of you are solo workers, okay? You want to do this by yourself. But some of you need to collaborate and maybe a person that, you know, uh, on the love front is trying to help you is trying to collaborate collaborate with you in some sort of way. So this is something that you might want to consider implementing is allowing other allowing other people to help you. Let's I want to clarify this 3 of pentacles. So we have earth sign. Um, we have all the signs on the board that you could be dealing with right now. Okay, Scorpio. Why is this three of pentacles here? Thank you. Knight of cups in reverse. Three of pentacles. I feel like there's almost an offer with the knight of, knight of cups in reverse. There's almost like an energy. Yeah, I'm going to take that. There's an energy of um, someone trying to offer you something, trying to offer you something on the love front, trying to collaborate with you. Maybe you've met this person out, or this could be someone that, um, you know, someone's trying to set you up with is like a mutual friend or something, but it's almost this energy with this Knight of cups is with well, this Knight of cups is you definitely Scorpio. I feel like it's telling me again, you know, some of you, again, the moodiness is off the hook. But again, some of you, is it's like an overactive imagination. Some of you are being unrealistic. And maybe some of you are setting unrealis unrealistic expectations of people. And you're not accepting this love, okay? You're not accepting this love, okay? So this, again, whoever, there's someone coming in, possibly an earth sign that's trying to give you, or, or a water sign trying to give you some sort of offer. But this, this Knight of Cups is telling me you're like, you're not going to accept it. Um, you're wanting something else, I'm guessing. And the, the world is in the center of this. So it's almost like the energy of you're not wanting to accept love. You only want to focus on what it is that you want to focus on because there's a, 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 a thing of control. But again, this four of swords is coming back out and it's like, you need to rest. You need to contemplate. You need to meditate. I feel like this is just spirit telling you there is more to, there is more to what meets the eye. Things that are in your life right now, there's more of that. There's more of more than just what you're working on, what you're focused on. And I think you're needing to really tap into this inner truth that that is trying to um, overcome you and trying to become and trying to become you um, and you trying to become it. It's not things are not going to things are still going to remain at a slow and steady speed until you just open up a little bit more Scorpio. Okay. So you don't have to be so isolated. Okay. Let people help you. Even when those, when there are times of not wanting to be, be helped, even when there are times where you feel like I need to be isolated, I need my time alone. Scorpio, you spent a lot of time alone already. So breaking this cycle so that you can experience a different kind of love you might you might just feel that wow 
I've spent a lot of time alone. I've isolated a lot of people, but it feels good to actually receive help and confirmation and validation and um, advice and different perspectives and not just only it not just it being me trying to deal with everything and be in control of every situation okay so I do feel like opening up do do healing sessions do you know meditation do um, qigong tai chi something to move the energies out something that's going to help you shift because right now you're so focused on something and it's almost like you're not letting other things in you're blocking yourself off okay all right scorpio um i hope this reading resonated with you if it did please hit the like button share with your friends leave me a comment below make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're looking for um, a personal reading or energy healings my my information's in the description box below Happy New Year, happy new decade, and I hope all is well for you moving into this direction and setting this new foundation as you move forward to be more open to love because love wants to come in, okay? Love wants to come in, okay, Scorpio? Many blessings to you and yours, love and light, and I'll chat with you guys soon. Take care.